How to be a boss. Really hope I said that right. Thank you, Superwoman, for writing this book. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. These are three important things that I found in her book that I really couldn't find anywhere else. Number one, not everyone hates you. I'm really glad that Lily addressed this. I say Lily as if I know her personally. I haven't heard this a lot from other celebrities, so I think this is very important to say. People aren't against you. They're just for themselves. Sorry to burst your bubble, but you aren't that special. Your parents might think so, your family might think so, your loved ones will think so, but the world honestly doesn't care about you. That sounds hard, so let me tell you what I mean. You're not somebody who the world will go out of its way to be like, huh, let's make sure that this person never makes it in life. Don't put yourself that high on a pedestal. People don't care about you. That's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because they gonna leave you alone. It's not as if your success means my failure. That's not true. In fact, it's more efficient to work on yourself to become a better human being than it is to go out and make sure that this person doesn't make it in life. If your last three bosses all fired you, maybe it's not because they're jerks. Maybe you don't work hard enough. I understand to some people that when you work hard, that it's a very relative concept. A fifth grader thinks that working hard is just getting their homework done. An adult has an entire different meaning to working hard. Telling your boss that you worked hard enough and you deserve to save this job is not gonna keep you there. You don't deserve anything. You have to work for it, take action, and see results. People aren't against you. They're just for themselves. Your boss has an agenda. He's gotta get stuff done. If you're not getting it done, doesn't matter who you are, or where you came from, you, we gotta let you go. Number two, shake what your mama gave you. And by that, I mean your hand. You can't just walk in a room and be like, I'm here, love me. I mean, then again, that is one way to do it. Although it'll be a lot more polite, makes a lot more sense in a business atmosphere to introduce yourself. For someone as rich and famous as Dwayne Johnson, I was shocked that he made a point to introduce himself to every new person he met, even if they didn't initiate the interaction. He acted as if people didn't know exactly who he was, which was both refreshing and impressive. It's pretty amazing to see somebody like The Rock just go around and introduce himself like this to people because he doesn't have to do that. It's just this trait of modesty that he has that he's still such a down to earth person. The important thing to take away from that is no matter how high you go up in the corporate ladder or how much money you make or just where you are prestige wise, understand that you're still a human being. You still gotta respect other people with the same love that they have given to you. Modesty is not something that's ever overlooked. Following a similar trend that Lily has set throughout this whole book and throughout her channel, just work hard and be nice to people. And number three, no piggybacks. I absolutely love the quote that I'm about to read you from this book, it's one of my favorites of all time. True success is built upon a strong foundation. If someone wants to use you as their escalator to success, they won't build themselves a solid foundation. When you're a little kid and you don't have a job yet and all you have to your name is like $5, you're gonna use that $5 like it's a million. Like you're gonna make sure every cent of that $5 is used to perfection. If you're in college and now your parents come to visit you and they say, okay, where do you wanna go eat? I don't know about that. The funds aren't really there right now. Don't worry, it's our treat. Oh, we gotta go uh, everywhere. Can I get one of everything on the menu and just take it home with me? If somebody really, really rich just said, here, here's a Ferrari, you're gonna enjoy the Ferrari, but after some time, it's just gonna become your car. For the first month, or maybe even more than that, it'll be the most exciting thing that you've ever seen in your life, right? But if you did not take the steps to get there, if you did not make the money to buy your own Ferrari, you won't enjoy it as much as you would for someone who did get there. If your parents bought you a computer, you'll still care about it, don't get me wrong. You're still gonna be like, this is the only computer I have. Let's make sure that this doesn't break, nothing happens to it, that it's just gonna be the way it is forever, right? But you don't know the feeling of taking your hard-earned money and spending like $2,000 of it, that is going to be 
perfection in your hands. You're like, look, I don't, this is like my baby. I don't want anything to happen to this. I'm gonna nurture it. And if it even gets a scratch, we're gonna fix it up. And it's gonna make a lot more sense if you take these small ladders. And she, ugh, I don't wanna give the book away. I still think you guys should buy the book. But she does talk about the steps you gotta take on a ladder to get to where you wanna be at the top. And it's essential that you go step by step. Don't skip anything ahead because if you get it really quick, it'll be gone as instantly. Lily, if you're watching this, thank you so much for writing this book. I loved it. And in the future, if I ever get to a point where I can collab with you, I would love to learn more from you. The information that you gave here is just phenomenal. And thank you so much for your knowledge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel for some more hilarious content. As always, you guys, remember to stay fresh and stay golden.